Hey guys, Sam here. 2019 has been a year filled with fun, adventure, amazing milestones, and of course sandwiches. And before we find ourselves in 2020, I thought I would share with you my top 10 favorite sandwiches from this past year. Let's get started, shall we? Our countdown kicks off with a vegetarian sandwich that was so hearty and filling, it was a no-brainer made this list. Food for Thought's hummus sandwich is my number 10 spot. Food for Thought in Long Island's Garden City is known for their fresh and healthy meals. Their hummus sandwich had me humming a tune. It was so good. Whole grain bread holds layers of hummus, cheddar cheese, avocado, lettuce, tomato, and cucumbers. All those veggies and you're fueled up for whatever the day will bring. My number nine sandwich fits perfectly with the holiday season. While there are so many different versions of a Thanksgiving sandwich, my friends over at the Great Neck Diner really nail it. The Great Neck Diner is located right in the heart of Great Neck, Long Island, offering some of the most amazing sandwiches. Their Thanksgiving panini has everything you love about any holiday meal. It includes hot roasted turkey, homemade stuffing, and cranberry sauce. It's served with a side of hot gravy meant for dipping to ensure the perfect bite each and every time. Long Island is known for its awesome local spots. It's only been that my number eight sandwich, or should I say sandwiches, is from the local in Babylon. The local is located by the infamous Long Island Railroad's Babylon Station. This spot has some amazing sandwiches on their menu, but none of them top the Southern Shorty Sliders, featured on their weekend boozy brunch menu. Breakfast has never tasted this good, as these sliders are made up of scrambled eggs, barbecue short rib, fried crispy onions, and cheddar cheese. Top that with some jalapeno jam and put it on a perfectly fluffy buttermilk biscuit and you have a breakfast fit for any Long Islander. Lucky number seven, and I'm praying I'm able to once again have an ice cream sandwich from Holy Cream, located right in the heart of New York City. Holy Cream has one of the best ice cream sandwiches ever. Several scoops of their holy moly ice cream stuffed into a freshly vanilla frosted donut. Holy Moly ice cream has M&M's, cookie dough, and fudge all swirled into vanilla ice cream. Your donut is then topped with some chocolate drizzle and more M&M's. With every bite, I was screaming, hallelujah. Number six sandwich has me shouting out to all my vegans out there. One of my favorite spots on Long Island happens to be a little coffee house in West Hempstead known as the Witch's Brew. In addition to their coffees, teas, and desserts, they offer a vegan and vegetarian menu that has me second guessing my meat eating ways, only for a split second. And while I love a corned beef Reuben any day of the week, my number six spot goes to the Witch's Brew Tempeh Reuben. Sliced tempeh is covered with hot sauerkraut and served with their house-made Russian dressing on rye bread. I assure you after finishing this sandwich, there will be no need to pose the question, where's the meat? I'm rounding out my top 10 list with the number five spot going to a sandwich shop near and dear to my heart. It has become tradition that every time I land in Los Angeles, my first stop is at Fat Sal's Deli. Fat Sal's takes unconventional ingredients and transforms them into extraordinary sandwiches. With a menu that's ever changing, you're guaranteed to find something to your liking. And while all their menu items are fat with flavor, I always find myself going back to our number five sandwich, the Fat Jerry. Hold on to your seats because you will never believe the sandwich houses all these ingredients. Piled high on a hero is thinly sliced ribeye steak, grilled onions, melted American cheese, whole chicken fingers, mozzarella sticks, crispy bacon, french fries, and to top it all off, a fried egg. Dress that with salt, pepper, ketchup, and mayo, and you have yourself a fat jerry. Need I say more? Number four spot. There's something to be said about taking very few ingredients and making a memorable sandwich. That's why Pasillo Italian Panini holds a number four position with their number five, also known as the Parma. This sandwich shop has two New York City locations, one in the financial district and one in the heart of Chelsea. The Parma sandwich includes an enormous amount of prosciutto di parma, piled high and topped with smoked mozzarella, arugula, and sun-dried tomatoes. What really makes this sandwich is that all the ingredients are housed in fresh semolina bread. 
Although the sandwich sounds simple, each bite packs so much flavor. So yes, the number five is the number four in my book, and it's a spot well deserved. It's only fitting that the sandwich that takes a number three spot comes from Vegas because it's sinfully delicious. Check out the Kokomo from Hash House A Go-Go, located in the Link Hotel, right in the center of the Las Vegas Strip. This restaurant is known for hosting brunch all day long while serving farm food with a twist. The sandwich that caught my eye was the Kokomo. My face says it all as I was shocked at the size of this sandwich, a huge slice of Hash House of Go-Go's famous griddled meatloaf is served on thick slices of old-fashioned milk bread with roasted tomatoes and smoked mozzarella cheese. Let me tell you, I could have ate the sandwich till the cows came home. The number two spot takes us back to sunny LA to a place with super sandwiches. This is the Mamma Mia from Dan's Super Subs over in Woodland Hills. Super is putting it mildly because to quote Dan Super Subs, this sandwich is 50% more jam-packed than your average sub. Your traditional Italian cold cut sandwich is taken to new heights with layer upon layer of Italian meats, including capicol, mortadella, salami, bologna, and provolone. The sandwich doesn't stop there. Those layers are then topped with lettuce, tomato, olives, peppers, onions, pickles, salt, pepper, olive oil, vinegar, oregano, and Parmesan cheese. Finally, to tie it all together, the bread is dressed with their homemade avocado spread. This was unlike any Italian sandwich I've ever had. And although it was jam packed, that did not stop me from taking one big bite, enjoying every layer of that sandwich. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. My pick for number one sandwich of 2019. Takes us to New York City's East Village, where all your sugary dreams come true at Stumped Ice Cream. Here you have their famous, rough ice cream sandwich. A perfectly glazed donut stuck to your liking. I tried two of their own creations, Unicorn Poop and Cookie Roll. Don't let those funny names fool you. Feel free to make your own cruff by choosing from their unique ice cream flavors and toppings, such as white chocolate lavender ice cream or Fruity Pebble cereal topping. Thank you all for watching. For more food adventures, Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Sammy's with Sam or www.sammyswithsam.com.